bunch of little uh, lots and lots of little trevelli there you go that's one way to start a trevelli here everywhere there. the whole bunch of them and trevelli that was on the grub two and a half inch grub let's unhook him Send him back. Mad Mick from Mad Mick's Fishing Shack. Welcome to the new boat. Well, that's one way to christen it, isn't it? Let's go. Here at the Pine River. Fancy that. I thought I'd just start local. I did go out and play a little bit over at Mud yesterday. Did a bit of sanding around and had a bit of a play around with, uh, with Dad. And we caught a whole bunch of small um, squire, but We've got two that were sort of just legal, around that 38 centimetre mark. Um, whoop, there you go. So, you know, it wasn't too bad. It was a good start out there. I haven't played around out there for an awful long time. So, yeah, I haven't played out there for an awful long time. So, that wasn't too bad. I was happy with that. Let me hook you up. Bang. That's the new view. The new boat. Those, uh, Trevelli, they seem to have gone now. All right. Well, I have got myself a new rod as well. This, I think because I broke my beloved um, Ian Miller. That was so good, that rod. But can't afford another one of those. So I've gone with a, what is this? It's a Shimano Zodius, that's it. Shimano Zodius, this is the two to four kilo. So that'll do everything it's only um, six foot six instead of seven foot uh, like the old Ian Miller and a lot of my lot of my other rods actually but um, you know that's all right we'll we'll run with this one so far it's not too bad all right, all right so mad mix uh, two and a half inch grub this one is the sweetheart color on a one quarter ounce 1-0, two times strong mustad hook, so you'll be able to rely on that for sure. Yeah, typical Mad Mick, stretchy, durable. It's a new moon too, so the tides are really big. That's why I've got this one quarter ounce on straight away because it won't be long. We're right at the bottom at the moment. Won't be long, this tide is gonna be really ripping in. It's going from 0.3, low tide, all the way up to probably i think it's 2.7 at least 2.6 so yeah there's a lot of movement there there's a lot of water that's coming in fast out there instead see what that does oh, it's really going to start pushing in there okay, so some showers some showers over there don't know whether you can see some showers over there you can see all that well, I can see it. I don't know whether you can. Oh, I just had a hit. Let's turn around. Out there, or a cast out there. Someone just grabbed it. But I was, I was too busy looking at the rain. Oh, let's do that again. We have a big cast out there. It does hook that um, one quarter ounce a fair weight. I'll give it that. I'm starting to think that pink, pink is not the colour of the day. Oh, let's go. We will use. bad boy this is a leprechaun mad mix sickle tail let's see what we can pull in on a sickle tail now I don't often use these things why well I don't know really they're an amazing lure I'll show you there you go nice and easy to rig Let's 
see what happens. After all. Yeah, what we got? Fish. Probably just a flatty by the feel of it. Yeah. Fish. Little one. Hey, man, big spawn, they got a fish. Sickle tail. Something different. Ugh. Took my tail as well. That's the only thing about these ones, they're not made of the super duper material, so bugger. Usually they do do a little bit better than one fish though. That's a bit that was a bit disappointing. Let's go. Smelly brim of our hook. This is uh, a dewy, methinks. Yeah. It's got some nice dewy sort of head shakes. I thought I was going to lose it then. I just got hooked up on the ladder of the boat. My line just got wrapped around the ladder of the boat. And thank God it, it came off. Because this is it's not a monster of a fish, I don't think. But there's been a lot around that mid 50s size that's probably all this is there you go as predicted Really liking the uh, that moving tail, that grub style or something, the um, the minnow style, the worm they weren't really interested in. As soon as I changed up to this sort of grub style in the right colour, bang. I gotta say, he's only about that mid fifties. There's a mad mixed sickle tail in his jaw there on a one quarter ounce one o jig head. that back on. We'll stick him on the brag man. There you go. One nice little jibby. Alright, let's go. See if we can pull another one of those up. There's been yeah there's been quite a few sort of around that size getting around so well I caught three yesterday. Yesterday it was a bright sunny day, so the colour of choice, I was using a two and a half inch ribbed grub, and I got three yesterday, I believe I'll show you a picture of one of them at least, there you go. Um, so that was on the grub, two and a half inch grub down here yesterday, I was fishing with uh, Steve Hale, a uh, guy from Flatty Finger, shout out to Steve Hale, um, top bloke, good fisherman, um, awesome product, Flatty Finger, if you don't have one, get one. Rain. Uh, I think I've got a piece of wheat or a log or something. It's coming in, but it's not fighting unless it's like one of those ginormous fish that. No, nah, there it goes. He's just a piece of the bottom. Look at that. Bit of a shelly bottom down there. Reefy shelly bottom. Note that to yourself. Yeah. Here I am. Out the front of old Shelly Beach. That's probably all that's left of Shelly Beach. Got washed down here towards the bridge along this, this 
sort of area here. So Shelly Beach was just ahead of us up there on the on the point. So all the shells and everything has probably probably been deposited sort of all the way along that bank really. So could be pretty good. Thank you very much to my good friends at Mangrove Jacks for that. Would have been a bit chilly otherwise. Oh. Well, at least I caught a fish.